Hi, my name is Shannon Bellum and this is Whiskey and Wool and I'm coming to you today with a little page torn out of Christy Glassnit's book. I thought I would spend some time uh, and make a video that is only a finished object. So I wanted to share with you my Vogue Knitting Live for 2020 sweater. It is a sweater of my own design and I thought I would take I don't know 10 or 15 minutes to just talk with you about it and share with you um, my experience in designing and knitting this and um, let you in on a few details. So first off the pattern is going up for testing hopefully next week. I have the pattern instructions practically all written. Um, they're like three quarters of the way done. Um, takes a little time to do the grading and stuff like that, but I think I came upon a very uh, sort of seamless way to grade, at least with this style pattern. So let me show you without wasting any more time. Um, let me show you the design. This is my Vogue Knitting Live sweater, as I said. It is a bomber jacket made out of Ching Fiber Melted Baby Surrey, but you could use any Baby Surrey um, brand, I think. And the um, Ching Fiber's blend is a Baby Surrey, which is an alpaca up from the alpaca family, uh, alpaca llama family, Baby Surrey, um, superwash merino and silk. So that's the blend. It's all natural animal fibers, which I love. And yeah, so uh, this is the color that mine is knit up in. So this is what it looked like on the skein and this is what it looks like knit. Um, and anyway, my trim, which I hope matches my lips, my trim is a um, typical 80-20 sock weight yarn. Uh, this one actually has a little touch of Stellina in it. It has a little bit of sparkle because I thought for Vogue, um, the thing that I find about Vogue is that the sweaters that people wear are either really beautifully classic natural wool type sweaters or you know, they're quirky and unique and interesting. So I decided to just like go all the way in. And if I was going to use a bright, bright color to also go ahead and let it be sparkly. So this is an Asylum Fibers um, yarn that I used and I don't have the thing. I think she calls it golden. It's called golden something. I will put it on screen for you and with the complete content and the um, the colorway is called endorphins and it's just this really cool hot pink with a little bit of um, pops of speckles that are orange and um, purple in it which I thought went really well with this. Um, it's a much hotter pink than the pink that's in the Ching fiber as you can see but I thought I thought that with the orange, the orange and the ching mixing with the pink, that that would really key up the pink. And I think I'm right. I think I think it works well. I think that this is a really nice balance. Um, it, it draws attention to the trim and stuff. Sorry, I keep looking to the left because that's where my screen is where I can see what you're seeing. All right, so those are my fibers and this is my sweater. I'm actually going to, um, try to stand up and show you. And if that doesn't work, I'll insert a picture. So this is my little bomber jacket. I just love it. It came out so good. Uh, it has like a nice little bit of blousiness in the back, like just like a real bomber jacket. It has a very, very dropped um, shoulder just like a bomber jacket. So my inspiration for this was I was shopping in the fall um, before Christmas, before the holidays. I was just doing some holiday shopping and I noticed that there were a lot of bomber jackets um, in the patterns. And I don't know when the coin dropped that I was like, oh my God, I have all this melted baby Surrey on my hands and I, ha I don't really know what to do with it, but it would be perfect for this style of jacket. And in fact, I had 
on I had already purchased and on was on the way a um, bomber jacket from J Crew. So this is I bought this at J Crew in um, well, probably over Thanksgiving weekend. I think I hit a sale. And to me, this fabric was very highly textured the way that the baby Suri is. So I thought that it would be a really good yarn for this style of cardigan. Um, so then after that, all I had to do was um, ne negotiate and navigate uh, how to do, you know, I wanted to see would the sock weight be enough of a difference to create that sort of blousey look that you get um, in a bomber jacket, like so you see the the narrow, um, sorry, it's a little dirty because I've worn it. <laughs> you see the narrowness that happens here. So uh, I took this jacket, which is quite heavy, much heavier. it's it's um it happens to be lined. So it's got this like synthetic fluff, and then on the inside is this, I think it's a cotton acrylic blend um, yarn. so it's very thick. It's like double thickness. So I took this jacket and specced it and went from there so i ended up making you know a couple changes from that because as i said that was like very different fabric than the fabric that i was getting i knew that this having this cloth this um surrey superwash silk would have a lot of drape so um i wasn't quite sure if what i pictured was what would come out but i'm so happy with how it came out i love it it the spec everything um i did have to knit the sleeve over like three times and i did knit the collar and i made a couple little things i did a couple things in my sample in the prototype that won't be in the pattern um and a couple what i can share with you is that this the things that I would change, this collar isn't high enough. It needs to be, it needs to have a little more teeth to it. It needs to be a little bit higher. So the pattern will be written for um, anywhere from a quarter to a half inch higher. I haven't quite figured it out, but I, but I will. Um, and the other thing I think that is not quite right with it is that the, um, the front drop. So that's from where the back neck sits and then where the distance between the back neck and where the front neck is I think it's a little long so in other words the front needs to rise up a little bit so that will happen too in in the next pattern so this will be more like here instead of sitting down here um, and I think by by doing that and also uh, lengthening the collar I think it'll be more of a a real it'll be a cozier knit around your neck and it'll feel more like an actual cardigan. Um, what else can I tell you? The zipper, so this was my first time putting a zipper into a sweater. I'm a very accomplished sewist. I've been sewing since I was 10 years old. And I, when I was 13, I made a bathing suit. I mean, I really went for it. I'm one of those people that just, um, I, I don't put just, I put a toe in and then I'm all the way in. I'm just really all in. So, um, and I adapt very quickly to fiber arts. So, um, I've just been like that my whole life. I can't, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I, but anyway, very accomplished sewist, have done plenty of zippers, have done jackets, I have made coats, I've done tailoring, I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of sewing. Um, the sewist in me isn't quite happy with the way I put the zipper in on this sample, but I think it's it, it works. It works. It's very it's a very very simple insertion of zipper um, application. It did not. It was not long. Um, it did not take me long. It was uh, very fast sewing. I can show you the back. Actually, here let me let me take this off so you can see. There's a lot, there's a couple really cute details that I want you to see. So let me, okay. So first I will show you the um, sewing line. I still have to weave in ends too. So as you see the, the sewing line there, I mean, I, I wasn't perfect, but it nevertheless, it looks great on the front side. I mean, I think, I think it's really workable on the front side. Um, 
I made, if you're interested in testing or if you're scared about doing a zipper, don't worry, you can do it. It's really very simple um, instructions. I have also made tutorial, video tutorials. I've roughed them out. I draft them with this, um, this sweater as I knit it. I went and uh, filmed myself doing the things that I thought would be challenging for knitters. And um, yeah. So the first thing that I um, filmed was uh, this. I've talked about this detail right down here. So you can see like what you do when you're knitting, um, you stop, you put all these stitches on hold all the way around um, from side to side, and then you go ahead and knit, you knit this extension here. Um, and it, you knit it up that way, you see, so you fold it, you're folding the entire waistband um, so that this waistband is doubled. Um, and I, I used a technique when you start the, the waistline, sorry, <laughs> um, that causes the rib, besides the fact that there's a big difference in the weight of this and the weight of the sock um, in terms of its yarn weight, you, you get a really nice blousing effect that happens um, in the uh, transition from the surrey to the sock. Um, but I also have you do your first row of ribbing in such a way that it really enhances that sort of gathering in of the waistband. And then on the blocking mat, when you block the sweater, you can let that, um, you can help that be more, um, even more blousey if that's your body build, or you can, you know, you can release some of the ease, the natural ease that occurs in ribbing, whatever works for you, for your particular body. Um, okay, so yeah, I did a little uh, tutorial about the, the um, extensions that are over here. I did a tutorial about how to do this three needle bind off. Um, one of the worries of three needle bind off is that it's not stretchy, but I want to show you that it's super stretchy. Um, I show you a modified way to do it um, that does create a little bit more stretch than what you get in a um, regular three needle bind off. Same with the cuffs. You're gonna just you're gonna do a three needle bind off on the inside uh, for the for the cuff, and the way that I have you do it, those rib lines should line up perfectly. Um, and again, I have a tutorial on that. And I, for, and last, I absolutely have a tutorial on how to set the zipper in. Uh, it's a couple steps if you take the extra time to do a little extra, um, I do the extra step or two that I have, you'll be fine. It'll be beautiful and you too will have a beautiful bomber jacket. Okay, so I think you can really see now that it's off of me how how short I, you know what Vogue is tomorrow. I didn't have time to rip back the car the collar one more yet again. I ripped I knit and ripped the collar about four times to try to get it just right. Um, I didn't have time to rip rip it down again, and add on. I can do that later. As you saw, I have plenty of yarn. Um, if you're wondering about the yield. For the yarn, uh, my size, I did the size three, also sizing. Let me talk about sizing for a minute. I have seven sizes. They range in finished garment measurements from size 36 up to size 70. Um, so that should fit everyone because you can wear this with a lot of ease. This is a uh, 46 inch, this is size three. And I have a 39 inch bust, so that's with seven inches of ease. Um, so that uh, that just gives you an idea of how it will look on you. Um, I have a very big cup size, so it doesn't matter. Like things have to really be very, very, very big, very a lot of positive ease for them to drape directly down off my breasts and to have my breasts not be like poking out of whatever sweater I'm wearing. Um, so um, I always, I just like to, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I just want to explain to you what you're seeing on my body might not be exactly the way it'll fit on your body. It just depends on how you are. Like if you have a smaller cup size, mine's 6D. Um, if you have a smaller cup size than that, you it, you won't have, it'll be more drapey across your front, even with eight or 10 inches of ease. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about yield. So my size, size three, took three and a half skeins. Uh, that is even with waist. Um, I 
I think the yield, my actual yield was lower than that, but I was at a little bit. I think most of the sizes, since that's kind of in the middle, I think even the biggest sizes, I haven't done the math yet, but I think they'd be about four and a half skeins, maybe five skeins for the absolute biggest size. Um, so if you're interested, and you won't need more than one skein of sock weight for the uh, cuffs, ribs and cuffs. Um, yeah. If you're interested in testing for me, please find me on Ravelry or find me on Instagram and message me. I do almost all of my testing um, via email instead of doing it on a public forum like on Ravelry. Um, but if there's a lot of you, I might put it on Ravelry instead. Um, my plan is to um, do testing and uh, this is a very fast knit. It knits like a DK weight, so it'll knit pretty quickly for most of you. Um, I knit it in two weeks and that was with me making pattern notes and ripping back and all of that as I went. Um, I would assume a month or six weeks might be an adequate testing time. So I would like to aim for end of February release on this pattern. And I know sometimes finding all the sizes is tough. I know I am challenged with that. So what I think I will do is just put whatever sizes I don't get testers for out. Um, offer it up for free for someone who might be willing to test it down the road. Um, but yeah, anyway, I absolutely love this baby, melted baby Surrey. Oh, I called it Saucy Surrey. Um, it's called Saucy Surrey Bomber Jacket. But I absolutely love the way it knit up. I was hoping that the colors would pool a little bit and I think they did. I wanted them to look like abstract flowers, which I think they do. Um, and yeah, I wasn't sure I was gonna like these colors. They're a little bit off the chart bright for me, but I, you know what? I like them. Um, I will be knitting a sample along with my um, testers. I There's a couple things I wanna try out. Um, I, I wanna do a couple uh, things differently in terms of the sequence of how I did things. So I wanna try um, a couple uh, resequencing some of the way that the sweater goes together and just see how that works um, if it works better if it makes more sense for for knitters um, for testers I'll probably have both options in there until I figure it out um, which which one worked better for me but yeah I hope you like my new sweater and um, please comment below with anything you like to say about it I welcome comments. I read every single one. Um, and, and if you see me at Vogue in my gorgeous Saucy Surrey bomber jacket, please come up and say hello. I will have patches with me. I will gladly give you a patch or two or three. Um, just tell me, ask me. I, I will probably offer before you even get a chance to ask. Um, I really look forward to Vogue tomorrow. I'm so excited about it and so excited about going. And I will be back with you on either Sunday or Monday sharing with you my experience of going to Vogue Knitting Live in 2020 for their 10th anniversary. I have signed up for a few lectures. The mo one I'm most excited about is with Clara Parks and I will share with you um, whatever I can and whatever I think is going to be of interest for you. So I will see you later on this weekend. Bye.